G'day folks, I'm the Coffee Bush Kid, and today in What Have I Found? Well, I've got a little banger for you this time, I can tell you. So, without further ado, why don't we go down and we'll have a look at what we've got. Well, here's what we've got for you. Uh, some folks may well know what they are, some may not, and these are in varying forms as you would find them. They are, in fact, the top of powder flasks. Now these are powder flasks of varying sizes, but these are, are exa an example of what you'll get out of the ground. This one here is fairly complete. You've got your, your little lever arm for allowing the, the powder to come in to this cone section. So there it is under there. But what's usually under there is a little lever, like What's on the bottom of that one? So this gets flicked forward. This opens up and allows the powder to come into this chamber. And what happens is that, we can probably see it better on this one. It's got this little gated system. And there's a little spigot right there. And on the sides here are numbers. And what those numbers are, are the grains of powder that you need to fire your projectile for a particular firearm that you're using. So this actually has five different measurements that you could use and you lock them into position, you turn the powder flask upside down, you flick the little lever, this fills up with your powder and then you can put that into your firearm and uh, yeah, Bob's your uncle fairly much. But yeah, it's really cool to see that these are grain numbers that are written on the side of them. So there you have it, the tops of powder flasks. Uh, it's very, very rare to get everything together. You, you would be really lucky, but you will often find just the little parts here and there amongst uh, an old dwelling or something like that. But they're always a cool little find. And so hopefully next time you're out and you do happen to find a piece of one, you'll be able to go, ah, I know what that is. So anyway, I'm the Coffee Bush Kid, and this is what I've found for the Mind Lab Show.